Bark, bark. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Okami HD episode 32. I'm your host, Auto Director Jester. Would you believe we're not even halfway done with this dungeon yet? Well, let's just keep things going. Passage of Needles. That sounds kind of hmm, dangerous. Alright, next Toby Race, here we go! You may think you need to bomb that passage first, but nope, just skip to the gate and there you go. Not really all that difficult. I don't know why it was hyped up to be. Whatever, Toby. Alright, there's our lockjaw key that we need. But, it's gonna be a little tricky to get around here. I think you can drop down. And you'll have to backtrack to get back up here. I'm not sure though, but I really don't want to find out. Not really much you can explore up here. You can't go into these doors or anywhere up top. So let's get our key, drop back down. There we go again. The needles don't become active when you go through here again, so that's good, I suppose. And we move on! Aha! They counted on you running towards that chest. You can just approach it here from the side. And you get a godly charm. I guess that would kind of help out a little bit later. But no issues, though. Moving right along so far. Right you are, so he's ready to take a bite of the moon. Let's make a moon for him. That was that not what you meant? Oh, you, oh, oh, you want us to rejuvenate to rejuvenate the arrow that he might have had on his Well, what if he didn't have an arrow? What if it was something ironic like a gigantic claymore or something? But Alright, sure, we'll go with it. Whoa! Well, we are just doing irreparable damage to the skies. Another constellation. Okay, that doesn't work. I thought it would. This lightning tiger is called Gekigami, bestower of the thunderstorm brush technique. Although his element is lightning, his name, Gekigami, actually means God of Onslaught. Geki means attack or assault. It is derived from the phrase Rai Geki, to be struck by lightning.
You didn't feel like you had the power of the infinite cosmos before now. You certainly do now, because now we have the power of lightning. This makes everything easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's soon said. Well, whatever. I, I think Thunder Shock is one of my favorite powers in the game. Not because of what it does, but because of what the game does with it. All the different ways that you get to use it. Oh, we get an achievement too, so that's great. I mean, a trophy. So your next step is to use lightning to power this thing, but it keeps spinning. It doesn't stop. So the best thing to do is just get up as high as you can, get a good running start before it topples you over, because it will, and there you go. There's a lot of cool things that you get to do with uh, lightning here and later on. Clover gives us an astounding 50 happiness. That must be one goddamn happy clover. Jesus. And I go Gaidened. Now we got. A new type of treasure chest, one that is opened up by electricity. I guess I don't I don't know what we're supposed to do. I am drawing a blank right now, I just don't know. That'll be handy. Now here we don't use lightning, obviously. Wouldn't it be kinda cool if you could use lightning or other elements to power your bombs? Get a fire bomb, electric bomb, that kind of stuff. That would be cool. Hmm. Seems, uh... Very reminiscent of Zelda. Now, those vines may seem like that we can go up there, but it uh, turns out that's not where we need to go. It turns out that there is a secret hidden passageway somewhere around here, but... The thing is, I just... Don't know where we can find this hidden passageway. It's very, very discreetly well hidden by the Dark Lord. What a genius he is. So masterfully hidden is this electric key. Don't listen to his bullshit. This is this is one of the cool things I'm talking about. Picking up this elect this is like an, an electric key. It obviously goes somewhere, but two things happen when you pick it up. The floor now becomes solid for you to walk upon, and for you to disable by letting go of the key, and you also have a free uh, pool of electricity to use whenever you want. Well, except when I actually get to use it. That's what I meant. Like I said, a lot of really cool things you get to do with electricity power. Whoa, shit. Didn't jump for a second. So I make it up here, and that's how we get to open that door. See, the vines were a red herring, those damn little cheaters. So now we get to use our electricity power to our own advantage. I'm gonna see what happens when we try Thundershock. Okay, I guess that wasn't this. I forgot which uh, of these enemies that we're gonna fight here has Thundershock or not. So why not try them on them all? <laughs> the sliding doors of hell is next. Fair enough. It's kind of like a haunted house type thing. Is this like an amusement park or a Dark Lord? Where are we right now in terms of the Dark Lord, the demon world? Very inconsistent. I don't understand. Maybe that's the big game. Well, the point is here, now we got a maze of sliding doors. 
There's treasures in here, and we're gonna get them all. So first, we're gonna go right. Gonna keep going over here until we get a steel uh, dragonfly bead. I got confused because back here is our steel fist sake. It's kind of hidden back there. That's everything on this side, so we can head back up to the main area. Okay, next, we're going to go left. Here we got an exorcism slip. Continue on. It gives us an incense burner. Lovely. We continue here. We get to a wooden bear. Now next, we get this hole here. All right, right there. We get a traveler's charm. Then we turn around completely, 180. Go straight. That'll take us to a vase. Alright, go ahead and straight to another one. A holy bone. So we go to crack, we're not gonna go in the hole. So we're gonna go left. Go straight. We get a vengeance slip. Steel Soul Sake. I think I may have lost my way. So hold on a second while I regain my bearings. Alright, I got it. I got confused for a second. Anyway, go around. Right past this wall right here. And once we get to this chest here, we get glass beads. And then from there, turn left. Bomb this wall. I mean, shit. If I go on the trigger too soon. On this wall. And then you're free. And now, we've stumbled into familiar territory. So now we're back out here to the main, well, area. We can sell all of these wonderful treasures that we just got at the Sliding Doors of Hell game. So we're gonna sell one of those, 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 that, that, and that. Gets us some uh, nice coinage there. And this key is used to open up this gate that we saw coming in. Ain't that just handy? The cool thing about lightning is that you can use it at once at two separate points. For example, right here, we can just hook on to this box and continue on to that box, and it goes as one. That bit of ingenuity gets us a bullhorn and an infinity stone. No need to sell a bullhorn just yet. Fetcher. I wonder what we do. Do you have any idea? Or are you starting to get the idea that electricity plus nine-pronged sword equals progress? So, there's an electricity source right there, so why don't we do just that? Surely this is a game for advanced intelligence only. Let me get two chests here. I can slash that. But apparently, not here. Get us a holy bone. Don't know why we need it. And a Chris Tau.
And down these stairs we go. Now here's where things start getting dangerous. Jesus. Automatically you think to slash these four guys, right? Just like... So. Huh? There's one more you gotta do, too. When I was recording for this uh, the first time, I forgot about that fifth one, and I died and had to start over. Tries to trick you, those little... those game developers, those... those guys, they... They do good work. Now we're at a semi 2 d labyrinth. This is actually kind of the fun part of the dungeon. This is just straight, straight up platforming. It's great. That's obviously where we go next. That probably hurts like hell. I don't think there's anything up here. Unless you want some coins or whatever. I guess every little bit helps. I don't think anything's up there either. No. Well, you can use this catwalk here, you can just kind of smear it all over that there, so you can grab onto the whole thing. That was kind of close. So much fun. It's kind of great having these otherworldly cosmic powers because you can just bypass things that other video game characters have to you know, go around the whole dungeon for. Oh no! Wooden bars are in the way! Not a problem for Amiibo. Okay, this one's gonna be tricky. Let's see if I, can. I probably can't. Drop it down. I bet that's why they had that there. So there's that. More progress ensue. Oh. The hardest part of the dungeon. Shit. Shit. Ah! Another one! Ah! Shit. Shit! <laughs> Why do I have so much problems with these alternating platforms? Ah! It's because I rush too much. And one more fun little challenge. I swear I've seen this in a Mario level or something. Okami bars from all the best games. Alright. They get faster as you go along. I think there's like five levels to this. Shit. Make sure you got that double jump going. Hey, whoa. And one more. Shit. God damn it! No. One more. There we go. Ah. This brings us to the final leg of Oni Island. Oh, jeez. Hey, let me talk for a second, man. We're here at the final leg of Oni Island. We got an origin mirror here. Save. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD.